In this video, we will explore an electric aircraft currently under development, one whose design draws inspiration from an iconic aviation masterpiece. When it comes to elegant design and transportation, Italian engineering is hard to ignore. One standout example is the Piaggio P-180 Avanti. This aircraft not only turns heads with its distinctive appearance, it also delivers impressive performance. Widely considered as one of the most underrated business jets ever built, the Avanti broke convention when it debuted in 1986. Unlike other aircraft in its category that followed the standard tube and wing layout, the P-180 dared to be different. For starters, it used turboprop engines in a pusher configuration and featured a three-surface design comprising of canards, a main wing, and a tailplane. This unique three-surface configuration reduces the total aerodynamic surface area compared to conventional layouts, helping to minimize both drag and weight. Furthermore, the fuselage is shaped like an airfoil, which Piaggio claims contributes up to 20% of the aircraft's total lift. The result is a smaller wing and tail area, reduced drag, and enhanced overall performance. And the numbers back it up. Despite being a turboprop, the P-180 can match jet-like speeds. In fact, the World Air Sports Federation lists the Avanti as the fastest propeller-driven aircraft with a top speed of 927.4 km per hour. Fuel efficiency is another area where Avanti shines. It offers up to 40% better fuel economy compared to similar aircraft. Its fuel consumption stands at around 3.4 km per kilogram of fuel, compared to about 2 km per kilogram for a comparable jet like the Cessna Citation CJ1+. That's a 70% improvement, though it's worth noting that this efficiency is achieved at cruise speed of 315 knots, which is slower than maximum jet speeds. What drives this high efficiency? Primarily, laminar flow over the fuselage and the wings. Piaggio claims the Avanti maintains laminar flow over 50% of the wing cord compared to just 20-25% to on conventional turboprops, where the propeller wash disrupts the airflow. The aircraft's sleek, tapering fuselage also helps maintain smooth airflow, which is crucial, especially since the fuselage alone accounts for 40 to 50% of the total drag in typical business jets. Given this efficient aerodynamic design, the P-180's shape is a natural candidate for electrification. So why hasn't it been electrified? Enter the Casio 2 series by Volt Aero. This innovative aircraft series takes the best features of the Piaggio P-180 and builds upon them. Unlike the P-180, which uses dual wing-mounted pusher props, the Casio features a single aft-mounted pusher propeller. This configuration offers two key advantages, that is, cleaner flow over the wings and the ability to leverage boundary layer injection, or BLI. Boundary layer injection allows the engine to re-energize the slower-moving air near the rear of the fuselage resulting in a drag reduction of 8 to 10 percent. The Celera 500L is another modern aircraft that takes advantage of this principle. Voltero plans to release the Casio in three versions. The Casio 330, which is a five-seater with 330 kilowatts of hybrid electric power. The Casio 480, which is a six-seater with 480 kilowatts of hybrid electric power and the Casio 600, which is a 10 to 12 seater with 600 kilowatts of hybrid electric power. Interestingly, Waltz Aero initial concept looked quite different, more like an electric version of the Cessna 337 Skymaster. In fact, their Casio 1 prototype was a modified Skymaster equipped with both electric motors and a combustion engine driven propeller. Around the same time, Ampere also used the Skymaster as a testbed for its hybrid electric aircraft. Voltero completed over 100 test flights 
with the Casio One covering thousands of miles. Building on that data and experience, they are now moving forward with the Casio 2 series. The new aircraft will boast a cruise speed of over 200 knots and a range of 800 miles and reduced noise levels thanks to electric powered taxi and takeoff. Volt Aero estimates up to 20% fuel savings through hybrid cruising, with engines recharging the batteries once they drop to around 20% state of charge. This is an exciting development in the field of sustainable aviation, and we will continue to follow the progress of Volt Aero's Casio program. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.